Hey everybody, Captain Kimo here and I got a quick video tutorial for you and this is on how to create a dark vignette around a photo. Uh, you can see here this is the photo with the dark vignette and this is before so the outer sides of the photo is lighter and we add a little dark vignette around the image so that it will help draw the eye into the center of the photo. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to delete this layer here and then we're going to recreate that layer so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a layer so I'm going to add a layer by clicking the little button down here on the layers palette and this will add a new layer and now we're going to fill this layer in we're going to fill it with white so we're going to go into edit fill and then we're going to select the white color here and hit OK and that will fill the layer in white next we're going to go into filters and we're going to use lens correction uh, this should be available in Photoshop Elements as well, so we'll click on that. Okay, so this is the dark vignette window, and we're going to go ahead and use the custom setting here. So we'll click on the custom tab, and all we're going to adjust is the uh, vignette here, and we're going to bring the slider to the left, and we're going to max it all the way out here to the left. And you can see it's created a dark uh, edge around the, uh, the image here. So once you do that, just click OK and once Photoshop gets done doing the vignette you'll get a photo that looks like this or an image that looks like this with dark edges around the four corners and now that we have this all we need to do is change the blend mode so I'm going to click on the blend mode here and I'm going to change it to multiply and this will darken the edges around the photo now if you don't want the dark edges too intense what you can do is you can adjust the opacity here and we can bring it back down to zero or we can put it around 50 percent and that will darken the layer just a little bit not a lot um, but for this photo I prefer it to be about a hundred so it draws the eye more towards the photo and that pretty much does it for this tutorial don't forget to visit my website at captainkimo.com and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so and with that said this is Captain Kimo signing out